This is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News, and this is your Maximum Threshold Rock and Metal News Report. Today, police confirmed 27-year-old British singer Amy Winehouse was found dead in her London home. Details on her death are still being investigated. Los Angeles heavy metal act White Wizard have officially revealed the details for their new album titled Flying Tigers. Flying Tigers features 12 new tracks and expands on the band's heavy metal blueprint with songs ranging from fist-pumping style anthems through to the arena rock power of Starchild to a six-track epic concept piece with a progressive vibe. Flying Tigers features the core White Wizard lineup of bassist songwriter and founding member John Leon, drummer Giovanni Durst, and studio vocalist Wyatt Anderson, who featured on the band's debut album, Over the Top. San Diego-based band Pathology is completing the mixes for their new album. The effort produced by Danielle Castleman is entitled Awaken to the Suffering and will be released September 13, 2011. In a new video interview with Kevin and Ian of Metal Shop, Seattle's KISW 99.9 FM, Megadeth leader Dave Mustaine confirms the return of Jigen Tour next year. Dave Mustaine comments, We just started booking last week. We've got three of the four bands booked and confirmed, but we're going to wait until the whole package is set before we announce it. The WAC and Open Air website states that Cradle of Filth will no longer be playing at the festival due to injuries to Danny Filth has sustained at a festival in France. Triptychon will replace them. According to the festival's website, security had to be called for Danny Filth as he had become aggressive and unmanageable and dangerous to himself and others. An image has been posted online which appears to show Danny Filth being restrained on the floor by a security guard. To make up for this, WAC and Open Air have confirmed that Cradle of Filth are the first band announced to play at the WAC and Open Air in 2012. Continuing with your MaximumThreshold.net rock and metal news, German rocker Sinner, featuring Primal Fear bassist Matt Sinner, have released the album slash tour trailer for their upcoming album, One Bullet Left due out September the 9th. Australia's Soundwave Revolution is being headlined by Van Halen on the following dates, September 24th, Brisbane Revolution, September 25th, Sydney Revolution, September 30th, Melbourne, October 1st, Adelaide, and October 3rd, Perth. Michael Schenker, Uli John Roth, and Leslie West will join forces for the Three Guitar Heroes Tour in October to November. Following sets by each of these legends, the evening will end with a jam of all three heroes on stage together, with special guests earmarked to join them in most markets. The tour starts October 6th in Norfolk and wraps up November 11th in Las Vegas, Nevada. On September 27th, the Concord Records will release Rush new live release, Time Machine 2011, live in Cleveland on DVD and Blu-ray. The show was filmed on April 15th at Quicken Loans Arena in Cleveland, Ohio. Rush's set list at the Cleveland show featured selections from their treasured catalog and the full performance of their legendary Moving Pictures album. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News with a Z, and this has been your Maximum Threshold Rock and Metal News Report. Thanks for tuning in.